Today we're going to terminate an Atlas X1 Category 8 connector. The connector comes in two colors, gray and black. This is the body, the wire manager, and the color matched icons. The icons also come in additional colors so that you can color code your connectors. The primary tools needed are a data cable strip tool and a flush cutter. A small screwdriver and a pair of pliers may also be useful. This is the Category 8 cable. It has an SFTP construction. Begin by using a data cable strip tool and set it about an inch and three quarters down the cable. Go once around and break and remove the cable jacket. Inspect the strip point to make sure the stripper is set at the right depth and has not cut into the foil or conductors. Next, take the mesh braid and push it back then dress it back along the cable jacket. With this cable construction, you will see each twisted pair has its own foil. Open up the foil on the green pair, put a half twist in it to ensure metal side of the foil is facing out, then lay it flat over the mesh braid along the cable jacket. If the green pair foil tears, you can use the foil from another pair. Open up the other three foils, nick the foils with the flush cutters at the strip point, being careful not to hit any of the braid, and tear them off. Now we're ready to place the wire manager on the cable. You will see that the Atlas X1 wire manager label has T568A and B wiring options. For Category 8 terminations, you should only use the B wiring option. On the inside of the wire manager is a stop post that will line up with the strip point of the cable. We'll start by aligning the blue label on the wire manager with the corresponding blue pair. Slide the wire manager down to a point where the stop post is right at the strip point of the cable. Close the wire manager, making sure that no strands of the braid shield are caught in the wire manager hinge or latch. Untwist each pair and seat each wire into its wiring slot, making sure the center elements of the wire channels are completely visible. There shouldn't be any pair crossovers at that point. Do a quick polarity check. Observe this guide pin hole. If the connector is wired correctly, the white wire from each pair will be closest to the guide pin hole. Using flush cutters, trim all pairs so they are flush with the sides of the wire manager. Now, nip the foil at the rear of the wire manager with your flush cutters and tear it away. Then cut away the mesh braid. Line the up indication on the wire manager with the up indication molded on the connector and insert. Then to complete termination, just close the rear doors. To remove the connector or re-terminate the connector, press on the two release levers at the rear simultaneously. Move the cable from side to side and the doors will open up. Grasp the connector and the wire manager and pull the two apart. The connector is ready for re-termination. When terminating the other end of the cable, the pairs lay out in a different order so a pair crossover is required. Once again, you will line up the blue label to the blue pair. Make sure the cable stop post is slightly above the strip point of the cable and snap the wire manager shut. In B wiring, you'll see that blue and green match up with their corresponding label color, but the brown and orange pairs will need to cross over to be in the right position. You still need to expose the center element of each wire channel to allow you to terminate the connector. Also, make sure the pairs are set as flat as possible at the top of the wire manager. This ensures that it will fit properly into the connector. For more information, please visit www.leviton.com/cat8.